Hey folks, and welcome to the first episode of What Can Contrast Do? This is a show um, where I'm answering some viewer questions basically on the new Citadel Contrast Paints. So I went on my Facebook page and asked, what would you like to know? And what kind of questions would you like answered? And these were the most popular ones. So the first one is, can you paint Reaper Bones minis directly out of the blister pack basically with these contrast paints? Um, Cause I, you know, you'd think they'd be perfect. They come out, they're in a, a, a pale white vinyl, um, and if you are a Reaper Bones collector, you probably have a closet of like several hundred miniatures um, that you want to quickly get some paint sent to. So you think they'd be a perfect candidate uh, for these contrast paints. So let's give it a go. Now these are cast in a soft vinyl. You can tell this is Reaper Bones mini because the swords do this. Whoa, whoa, Reaper swords. <laughs> and then falls off my custom mini grip from Chris from Way the Brush. Um, so let's try and let's try and get some paint on here and see what happens. I'm gonna use my big giant old Citadel shade brush and I'm gonna grab some, I don't know, what's a cool green? Uh, I, I'm not familiar with these colors enough yet. Let's try contrast warp lightning. That seems like a cool, a cool paint color for this um, to do his cape because his cape seems like it should be a good candidate for all of these things. And we'll use a, a nice, a nice big broad brush to get some color down here on. It still weirds me out that I don't thin these, I just take them right out of the pot. And it also really weirds me out that I'm painting directly out of the pot because I never do that, I paint off a palette. All right, let's put these on and uh oh, yeah. I kind of thought that was gonna happen. I'm gonna do the other side so you guys can see even better. Um, so the paint is beating up and shrinking back into the recesses and not covering the miniature at all. Uh, this is a really low surface texture and medium um, and, and, and a really slippery surface with no tooth. So what's happening is the, the contrast paint is just beating up and basically sliding off into the recesses. It's going to the lowest point in the model. And that means that unfortunately without a primer on these bones minis, the contrast paints are basically useless. They're not gonna, they're not gonna do their magic trick of covering and creating a fade because they're just gonna slide off the mini. And when you have 600 Reaper Bones minis to paint, that's not gonna save you any time at all. Sorry, buddy. Wow, looks like contrast isn't gonna be for you. So um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you Reaper Bones mini primed and paint it with some contrast paints. Uh, and I prime with this right here, which is the uh, acrylic, Vallejo acrylic um, gray surface primer. This is a great primer for when you don't, if I don't know how a miniature is gonna to react to primer, this is what I use. And it's basically the same color as this guy right here, which is the Gracier, the new um, the new paint, the foundation, or this is the, the spray paint and the base paint that Citadel's making to go with these contrast paints. It's a cool gray. Um, it has a very low amount of etching agent in it, which means it doesn't dissolve the model slightly and make them sticky. Uh, and so it's perfect for Bones Mini. So I'm gonna use some of this on a Bones Mini um, and then we'll we'll do that in the next video. So we'll paint some Reaper Bones with the contrast paints as a quick and dirty way of getting your D&D figs done. Um, so yeah, so check that out and uh, go down the playlist to find some more things you might be interested in uh, as we follow up this little series, this little short mini series of like quick videos of what can contrast do. Well, that was a an unfortunately failed test. It does look like the Reaper Bones right out of the, uh, the box are definitely not gonna be able to take the contrast paints. It's, uh, it's, it's gonna require some primer, so that'll be the next video. You can check out some What Can Contrast Do? And uh, this question has certainly been, been answered quite to my satisfaction after giving lots of time to dry. That's the result of some green contrast paint just painted all over that cloak. It pooled up, went in the recesses, and just completely beat it off whatever um, like powder coat or, or injection you know mold releases on that model. Uh, so we'll see it for another What Can Contrast Do? Uh, down the playlist, uh, up next. I think is the, the one of actually painting Reaper Bones who've been primed. So if you're looking for Bones information, check that out and uh, let me know what you think.